Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I welcome you all to this prayer this Monday. We'll start by a reading of From Our Daily Bread by Francisco Javier and the Spirit Emmanuel. Number 13, Necessary Stages. Repent, therefore, and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out in times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Eager believers quite often think that the work of redemption occurs by means of a few conventional procedures and that with only a certain amount of outward activity, they can attain the loftiest titles alongside the divine messengers. Most Roman Catholics expect redemption from the difficulties through outward ceremonies. Most Protestants believe they are in full communion with heaven just by singing a few hymns, while a large percentage of Spiritists believe they are in the midst of higher revelations just by attending a few sessions. All this amounts to worthy preparation, but that is not all there is to it. There is an inward illuminating effort without which no one can enter the sanctuary of the divine truth. Peter's words to the popular masses contain the synthesis of a great plan of the essential transformation every person will have to undergo for the happiness of union with Christ. There are indispensable stages for this accomplishment, for no one can reach the eternal light at the top at all, all at once. Before anything else, the guilty must repent, acknowledge the extent and size of their wrongs, and convert in order to experience the times of refreshing by means of the presence of the Lord within them. Once they have done so, they will be able to build the divine inner kingdom. If you have truly understood the mission of the gospel, you will know what stage you are at, and you will know what you must do in order to proceed to the next. Let us all close our eyes, raise our thoughts, to the Heavenly Father. Open our hearts to this wonderful message and direction of transformation. Let us open our hearts and our thoughts to the guidance that is being given to us. Be willing to acknowledge our wrongs and repent those wrongs, asking for forgiveness, not only of our wrongdoing, but in forgiving ourselves. Forgiveness opens our hearts to love and compassion. It is important for us to be willing to acknowledge our wrongs so that we can make amends. Heavenly Father, grant us the opportunities, the time to reflect, the daily opportunities of transformation. Let us be grateful for those times Let us be open and let us have compassion for all of our father following our fellow friends during the times of their troubles and their transformation. Let us take a moment of reflection. at this time. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to gather today for the instruction on redemption, on the path to be with you. 
open our day for opportunities so that we may open our eyes and our hearts and see the path to your love. I thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, dear Jesus. And thank you all for gathering here today. So be it. Have a beautiful week, a beautiful Monday. Thank you.